welcome to uh, my Prohands demo sessions. This is Mohit. Uh, uh, I lead the workflow practice for Prohands. Uh, this session is all about showing you uh, certain charts, which we call uh, executive uh, summary view. I will also show you the real time dashboards available in the tool and show you uh, a team manager queue, which is what is T, which is used by the team manager to sort of manage the queue. Uh, now with that, let me give you a brief about how Prohands uh, dashboards work. So what you're seeing on the screen is uh, the executive dashboards. Now this view could be uh, based on the level of access you have. If you have access to two teams, you will see data for your two teams. If you have access to bigger groups, you will see a consolidated uh, view of those reports. Uh, now having said that, uh, the tool has typically all the views which you want to see. It can show you your volumes. It can show your HD. It can show your cycle time quality metrics, top agents, etc. Now let me briefly take you through some of these reports. If you see on the page here, uh, this is basically a, a, a volume page. Uh, now I've set this based on uh, a level one uh, or grouping, uh, so it could help you in some times to even get a level two. So I basically cloned my uh, chart into another chart and I've given level two data. On the top right side, you can see some data. Uh, date uh, uh, selection uh, as well. Here you could select the date and compare that with probably last year, last quarter, last month, just to see what is the typical variation you have in terms of job volume. So you can imagine how easy it is uh, when your workflow is digitized, you can do a nice analysis of your sub elements. So if I look at this graph, I can clearly call out that bank opening and late charge waiver are the highest number of jobs. If I look at level two, among which repeat waiver and standard request are the highest. So this can be compared again with the last quarter if I have to just to see some analysis. Uh, I could do the same uh, level of detailing over a date. So if I see here, I can clearly see the peak of the volumes in my queue actually come for a few days. Now this may not be uh, true for your case, but depending on how your process is, you can see the cycle. If you see too much of variation, if you see the mix of your volumes changing every day, all of this you can see near real time. So if you suddenly see your mix is shifting beyond what you have been designed for, you will definitely be able to address with your clients, uh, get additional staffing, uh, take additional support as you want to for your process. Uh, this shows you the top agents. Now I could, I could actually customize. So all these widgets have interesting option of uh, uh, adding filters. So if you see here, they have a group by by state and by different custom fields which you may have. I could instead of uh, you know all, I could actually just select top ten uh, agents, and this will show me the top ten agents. Uh, so this is some of the ease of uh, using the tool. So now if you can see here, looking at my entire team, I can see how many jobs are in progress, how many are new, and how many are completed. This talks about your teams. So let's say you have team managers. You want to compare between team managers. What's a typical volume uh, volumes and uh, how they are going about? This is how you'll do that. And I could again change the filters. So like I said, all the different uh, uh, filter options remain for the same. And I just change the filters just to show you how you could spread it. So it, if this was your real scenario, you will see that one team manager actually is actually having the most volume. Uh, with that, let me also show you your AHD. So you have an interesting uh, graph here. Uh, all the sub LOBs which you saw on the upper graphs, I can see an average AHD real time. So you can you can actually have uh, your process which is recently digitized. You can track uh, the sub LOBs, the AHDs. Uh, you you will know if any of the thresholds is being breached. Uh, you can manage it. Uh, you can uh, you know, ensure there is a zero surprise operations going on. On the right side is an interesting concept. In case you don't know work time, this is integrated work time. So what is work time? It's one of our modules where uh, you know, it, it, it takes digital snapshots of the applications you're using while you're working and it feeds it to a workflow engine. So if you see here, this tells me that while my transaction took roughly about 0.545 hours, I, you know, this is where I spent my time. I took some breaks. I searched on LinkedIn. I actually uh, used 
teams. Now in your world, you will see this data with your business applications, browsing. This is where you get insights. So in a st uh, traditional outsourcing world, uh, people should ideally be just using your business applications only. But if you see too much of browsing, too many breaks, uh, too many other sites which are not conventionally uh, productive, you would know that these are the sort of concerns which is increasing your cycle time of your transaction. Now, traditionally, if you had to do any of that, you'll have to do time motion analysis, sit with your teams, do a lot of research. Here, you will probably get a near real time uh, report much easier uh, and you can get into the analysis. Uh, our tool also has um, uh, a quality engine assigned, so you could create a quality form uh, which could be designed by a quality team saying which factors make it a defect. Uh, you can then use either DPU or a DPU calculation for that form and attach that form to a specific process. Once you do that, uh, your quality teams will uh, post completion of a transaction, uh, trigger the uh, the quality process and while they do that, uh, you know, they are going to get, uh, you know, the quick analysis. You will get, uh, you know, what's your typical accuracy, what will defect opportunities, uh, who are your agents who are, uh, you know, causing the most defects, what's the typical cycle time of these transactions. So having said that, this is the typical reports which you have. Uh, let me also briefly show you a real time dashboard. So we have four dashboards, but I'll walk you through one of them. Uh, so this is the real time dashboards, uh, all uh, linked with work from home uh, in today's world. Uh, it, due to the COVID challenge, a lot of people are actually working from home. Uh, and how are people managing? Uh, the team managers are calling people. Uh, they are sending emails. They are on Teams. They are Zoom calls, asking, uh, you know, what what is the data they're going on? Uh, what is the process being followed and whatnot. But however, in today's real world, you can clearly see uh, you can uh, uh, you can actually digitally track the teams. You can see on the right side the current state. It tells you, uh, you know, the current state of my team. Uh, it's logged out. It's working. Uh, you know, people are not logged in. So only one user, which is me, who is actually working. It tells you a brief snapshot of your summary of metrics. It shows you an average turnaround time shows your average AHT. Uh, the tool will also show you what is the current job you're working on. So this is an interesting element. You can imagine how easy it is for team managers to just sit on the queue and track the transactions which are happening. Uh, with that, let me finally show you a job management. A job management queue is basically meant for your team managers to manage a queue. You may want to bulk assign your jobs, bulk complete them, archive them. Typically, whatever bulk, bulk transactions you want to do, are available here. The tool can also, if you see here, there is a specific column which are coming in. I could actually change this columns as well. If I hit on the report columns on the right side are the other columns which are already showing. Now I want to actually add one more field, so I'll go ahead and select one more item here and click fetch. Now if you see here, uh, the field which I have selected is actually coming here. So I can custom make whatever reports I want to see in my real time web view and I could sort this column by up to three specific columns in one queue. So I could select it by client name, the start date, the end date. So whatever typical transactions you can imagine, I can do that and I can hit fetch. It will sort uh, this data. Uh, I could also create a custom search. Let's say I get a email uh, from from my customer and saying hey i want to uh, know about this specific job code which is which is there or a client name which which is there i can actually uh, put that specific job number or client name and click search and what will happen is it will only give me the record which i want so this is a very powerful job management queue view uh, which can be used to sort of manage uh, your your end uh, workflow to ensure uh, you know your cycle time and your HD is well within the agreed timelines. That's about it. That's what I want to show you guys uh, on this uh, specific piece. Uh, do watch my other videos in case you have more questions. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.